What's happening guys, gals, and indie pals? I'm Alice in Wonderland, your favorite Kiwi trans girl, and today I have a very important question for you. You see, parents love to say that they love their children equally, but we all know that's a lie. Everyone has favorites. For example, my sister was my parents' favorite. Why? But more importantly, I would like you to know that I am in fact a mother. My children are 12 years old, which means they were birthed when I was 11. And they're starting to get to that age where they're very hairy, loud, and eat lots of food. They're cats. I'm talking about my cats. And today I am setting out to scientifically determine which of my cats is my favorite. So sit back and watch as I go through a series of very well thought out scientific experiments to mathematically determine which of my cats is the best. I mean, it's not even a question. Chester is f***ing massive. Hand for scale. And I have a big hand, like a really weirdly big hand, and it's not very feminine, to the point it gives me dysphoria. Ha ha hand for scale. Ha Chester, come on. Go. Go for the gold spice. Yes! 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 Oh my god! It's gone! It's going! It's going gone! This is spice. Yeah, okay, she's really, really friendly. Spice won't go up to random people, but she's so much nicer to you than Chester is if you already know her. She's lovely. He has a tendency to just walk up to strangers. He will just like go down there on the road and he'll just sit there and he'll just walk up to people that walk up the road and everyone sees him and they're like, oh my God, he's f***ing massive. That's the biggest cat I've ever seen. And kids love him because of that. And so, yeah, he's weirdly friendly to strangers. He's not very friendly to, you know, us. <laughs> I would say Spice is more loving and Chest is more friendly. Okay, let's take a minute to racially profile my cats. I have two cats, Chester and Spice. They are siblings, twins even. Chester is a boy, Spice is a girl. Because of this, we can likely assume that Chester, now being 12 years old, is likely to start falling down the right wing rabbit hole soon. But not to worry. He won't do too much damage. Chester, of course, is a ginger, which means he is constantly struggling due to having only one brain cell. One orange brain cell. Spice, however, is a clever old girl. She's a tortoise shell and she's a hunter. Her love language would appear to be gifts, which can be ascertained by the fact that even at the elderly age of 12, she is still leaving us little mice and rats. Mmm, yeah, some dinner. And actually, when we were away over New Year's, our house sitter was quite surprised to come in one day and find himself a massive gift. A rabbit. She caught a f***ing rabbit. She's 12 years old and riddled with arthritis. She can barely move. How? Anyway, both of my cats are Maine Coons, a breed specifically bred to be f***ing massive and very charismatic. It also makes them very popular. In the past 12 years, Chester specifically has gained quite some notoriety. Let's dive into some more experiments. Oh my god, look, movement. <laughs> he won't let it go now. See, he doesn't give a f if it's over here, but if I go like this. <laughs> he has a go at it if he can reach it without getting up, but he will not move towards it because he's f***ing lazy. Oh, she's really going for it. The question is, if it's outside of her reach, will she go and get it? Will she? Come on. Look at that little puddle of fur. Is she gonna go for it? She's distracted by birds. Very little brain in there. Senator Chester, do you have any comment on the current biscuit shortage? Hey. That's my microphone, c Senator Spice, what is your statement on the current biscuits shortage? Oh, that's interesting. Anything else? Hmm. Yeah. That is a good point. 
Welcome to the Alice in Wonderland Halftime Show. I'm your host, Alice in Wonderland, and today we shall be playing I Spy with my particularly little eye. Are you ready? Let's go. I spy with my little eye something beginning with E. You have 10 seconds. If you answered Alice, you're f***ing stupid because my name starts with an A. If your answer was existential dread, you're actually not wrong, but that's not quite the E that I spied with my particularly little eye. However, if your answer was estrogen, you're probably trans, and you also just won the halftime show. But in other news, the Council of Alice's has tasked I, Game Show Alice, with Buy Me A Coffee this week. Big thank you to Kaylee. If my lips could cross the Atlantic, I would kiss you. And now to continue our ongoing game of chess. This is the state of the board. My nemesis, Doug, is once again the only person to comment a move. I will destroy you, Doug. Your name is only four letters away from being Daryl. Pawn A7 to A5. In response, I play Queen D1 to D2. Get f***ed. As always, leave your next move in the comments. Please, someone needs to rise up against the Doug Chess Monopoly. Back to your scheduled programming. Okay, well, for this question, for once in my life, I'm going to have to be rational about it. Let's look at the facts. Chester, what do you have to offer the clan? You're massive. That's pretty much it. My good boy Chester is very clumsy. He's also bright orange, and he doesn't know anything about stealth. While Spice is out there bringing home two or three mice a week, Chester has never caught anything. <laughs> He's big and intimidating. That's pretty much all he would have to offer the clan. Okay, now on Spice's hand, she's a hunter. She may be 12 years old and arthritic and barely able to move, but she still brings in prey. She just looked at me. me, 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 me. You know, like, let's be honest, she's not that small either. She'd also be pretty intimidating. No. Chess is orange. In order to determine this, I have made a poll on my Instagram story, as you can see here. Which cat is best? Chester? Spice? Everything nice? Chester? Spice? Are they equally perfect? Or are they equally useless? Hmm, what do my followers make of it? At half an hour, it is sitting quite pretty at 67%, and at two hours, it's still sitting at 67%. We'll come back to this later. What do you think of my legs? Who doesn't like? Excellent. Excellent. I'll take that as a positive. What do you think about my legs? Hmm? Spice, it's you and Santa Lobster. You have to kill him or else you will die. I think Santa Lobster's fine. Chester, you have to kill Santa Lobster to survive. It's just you two left. Oh! Vicious! Attack! <laughs> I was not expecting him to actually go at it. I bring you the gift of music. Oh, she's gone. No, she doesn't like it. <laughs> Spice, do you wanna, do you wanna play guitar? Look, can I grab your paw? Or are you going to attack me? Hmm? Here we are again keeping an eye on our Instagram poll. It has now been six hours. Let's take it. Stop the c**k. 
69. Stop the count. The poll is over. Stop the count. Close it all up. We're done here. Equally perfect at 69%. Perfectly balanced. As all things should be. I know you have the code. Tell me the code. I want to know the code. Oh. Okay. Can I have the code? Well. Well, I would appear to have exhausted my scientific experiments. I cannot think of any more tests that would be accurate. Let's tally up the scores, shall we? As expected. So, my conclusion after all of these tests is that both of my cats are equally useless. Equally perfect. But also equally useless. It is impossible for me to say that I love one more than I love the other. They're my children, and they are both very special in their own right. Thank you so much for watching this video and coming to this conclusion with me. If you enjoyed, please consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons. Join my army of submissives! Ow! <laughs> that hurt! What the f***? Alice in Wonderland. Defeated by a glass ball. <laughs> Normally they're made of flesh. It's alright, I fixed it. I just thought this would be a fun little video. The honest truth is that I've kind of made this more for my own benefit than anyone else's because my cats are pretty close to the end. It's a sad fact, but you know, they've had a fantastic life. I reckon Chester's still got a few years in him, but Spice is... She's looking pretty ragged these days. I wanted to make this video kind of as a way to immortalize them. I just wanted to share these two lovely furry creatures that I love so much and that have brought me so much joy since I was only 11. Thanks again for watching and I hope you have a lovely, lovely day. Bye now.